अभी तक जो सरकार ने हमको भी कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है थोड़ा तो मेरा दिन इतना दुख हो गया क्योंकि तीन तारीख रात गरीब सारे आदमाजी में जो फायरिंग हो गया घर घर पूरा सब तोड़ तोड़ दिया तोड़ फोड़ करके पूरा बर्बाद कर दिया और जितना गाड़ी उधर में हम लोग निकाल नहीं सकता है वो भी जला दिया पूरा और उसने खाली एक दिन में नहीं किया था तीन तारीख रात से शुरू हो गया और चार तारीख पाँच तारीख छः तारीख तक वो उसने वो हथियार चला दिया इसके बाद उसने जो बम जो है बम ने भी मार कर बोम बोम चला के पूरा तोड़ दिया अभी इसका बाकी जो बचा रहा है वो भी जीसीसी करके ऊपर तोड़ दिया अभी तक जो हम जो पूछ रहा है जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट और सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट से मेरा हम लोग की तरफ से गांव का इतना हम लोग पूरा बर्बाद हो गया अभी तक जो प्रेस वाला भी हो मंत्री भी हो स्टेट फोर्स भी हो अभी तक इकोबे जा नहीं सकता है उसका ट्राइबल ट्राइबल कोकी मिलिटेंट जो है उसका जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट भी है जो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट भी है उसका बीच में क्या क्या लिंक था हम वो लोग से हम पूछना चाहता है अभी दस दिन पूरा हो गया अभी तक कुछ नहीं उसने हम लोग का जो रिपोर्ट भी ले नहीं सकता है A strong burning smell engulfs the air as one enters the bazaar at Iko, a small Meiti hamlet inside the Kuki-dominated Dolai Thabi village in Manipur's Kangpokpi district, some 35 kilometers away from capital Imphal. On May 3rd evening, the bazaar and adjoining areas of Iko, which had 140 houses, and inhabited mostly by Meitis bore the brunt of violence that had broken out in the state following the tribal solidarity march held by the Kukis to protest plans to give scheduled tribe status to non-tribal Meitis villagers at Iko with a total population of 700 people told the print that an angry mob entered the village around 5:30 to 6 pm and started vandalizing homes before setting them on fire over 100 houses and shops besides private school and a public transport bus was set on fire this is eco village a kuki dominated village in dulai thabi block in imphal district there are a total of 140 houses in this village where some 700 people lived of this villagers say some 130 houses where the meitis lived were burned down in the evening of may 3rd when a mob entered the village and burned down the houses and vandalized the shops the village resembles a ghost village with hardly any villagers left there are one or two shopkeepers who have come here to see if there is anything left in their vandalized properties गाँव से गाँव नहीं है जो कम्युनिटी हॉल है जो मंदिर है और स्कूल स्कूल भी है और हमारे पंचायत घर क्लब सब कुछ जल गया पर वो लोग के साथ में बंधु लेकर आया था जो अपना अचानक आ गया हम तो जैसे अपना जान बचने के लिए गाँव से निकल गया उसके बाद में सब कुछ जला दिया उन्होंने के केंद्र के एम एल के घर में पहले पूछा था राय को अच्छा। उसके बाद में अभी हम अपना पर जैसे जान बचने के लिए रिलीफ के एम एल सबको सब लोग पता नहीं कब रह गया जैसे हम गर्मी में क्या क्या करेगा हम कुछ भी नहीं पता है हम तो वापस जाना चाहते हैं फिर जैसे अपना घर में वापस जाना चाहते हैं जो अभी हम जो अपना से गर्मी में हमने डिमांड किया है जैसे हम अपना बस्ती के लिए जो एक आया भी पोस्ट रखना है अच्छा। जो हमको सुरक्षा करने के लिए और उसके बाद में जो हमारा गाँव सब कुछ इकट्ठा करके जैसे आराम से रहने के लिए जो हम डिमांड कर रहे हैं In Dulai Thabi, two small Meiti pockets, Iko and Sadhu Yang Khuman, were targeted. The only inhabitants that one can see now in Iko and the surrounding hamlets are the personnel of Assam Rifles, Border Security Force, Indian Reserve Battalion (CRPF), among others. While most of the Meiti villagers fled and took shelter in Pukhau Terapur, a Meiti-dominated village just a few kilometers away from Iko, some went to the Assam Rifles camp in the adjoining Saikul village near Dulai Thabi. If the Meiti pockets in Kuki-dominated villages wears a deserted look, things are no different in nearby Kuki pockets adjoining Meiti-dominated villages. Fearing a retaliation from the Meitis, the villagers have fled their homes on May 3rd and are taking shelter in relief camps in Saikun.
It is not just the cookie and methi neighbors in small hamlets fleeing in panic with fear and paranoia prevailing in many small pockets where people from a particular community live in Gangpijang a small cookie village in Kangpokpi district just 2 kilometers away from Pukhau Terapur a methi dominated village young men stand guard outside the entry gate to the village Gangpijang has some 100 houses with a total population of 550 Women, children, all aged people are somewhere in cycle okay. in the relief camp. Okay. So we are safeguarding ourselves okay. along with the And volunteers. And they sent to the relief camp because, uh, I mean, because the fear that. Yes, because of the fear psychosis. We do not rely on the state forces. Mm-hmm. Just because of the uh, some rifles and uh, uh, paramilitary sent by the central government, we are a little bit relaxed. Mm-hmm. But still, there is no. peace of mind i would like to appeal to my mitte brethren that let us not be blind folded by the uh, individual greedy and selfish people so we all live together when problem arises both sides affected so if we can come to the point where we can compromise that will be uh, a great help for each and every one of us uh, here The problem in Saikul area started because one of our villages was burned down there in What's the middle of uh, Infa Saikul the Road. The name of the village is Konompai. So just because of that reaction here, the nearby villages occupied by the Mitei, the plain people, were set ablaze by the angry mob. And uh, we heard from our leaders that our MLA and the Kundrakpam MLAs, they have an agreement. Nothing, no problem should arise within our constituency. So we uh, have a great respect on the agreement and therefore we do not create any problem for those people that means people from eco so we let them go by themselves without any problems the school even the churches uh, even day to day life is also badly affected not only our surrounding villages mm-hmm. but considering ourselves our, our village is one of the big villages so they just came for help and then we can provide them so the village life here in gangpijang is very horrible and uh, apart from all these issues our internet is also cut off but in the valley they use internet freely and all the stories are also twisted even the images which they have done by themselves they created that it's done by the cookies so all those type of manipulations are also seen by many of our friends outside manipur It is a similar situation on the other side too. About 600 meters from where Dolai Thabi ends is Pukhau Terapur, a Methi dominated village. There are about 150 households in this village with an approximate population of 1000. Most of the villagers are small farmers. A community hall in the village has been turned into a guard room at the last point where Pukhau Terapur ends. जैसे कि शाम को ऐसे हमला कर दिया हमला के बाद में हम लोग वाप यहाँ दौड़ के भागते हुए आए हैं रास्ते में वो लोग हमको ब्लॉक करके हमारे गाड़ी पर आक्रमण किया तो बहुत आदमी को घायल भी कर दिया और हम लोग दोनों तरफ से उधर से भागते हुए हैं उधर वापस जा भी नहीं सका है और तोड़ के भी नहीं जा सका है तब तो बाद में सोचा मारो जियो उसको पार करके जाना है बोल करके उसको तुरंत हम दौड़ के आया तब तो अपने गाड़ी उसको करके आया पार कर दिया पार करते करते हम लोग अभी नवरम बीरहरी कॉलेज खुंदरापम में हम लोग सब उस पर शेल्टर ले रहा This is Mashmi Das Gupta along with Suraj Bisht reporting from Dulai Thabi village in Manipur.